This is Mamutasan Mehra's welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions uh, are given in this isometric view. So first of all, we are going to draw a rectangle in the top plane. Okay? And this rectangle has a dimension of, uh, along this side we can see uh, 15 plus 10 plus 15. So it will be 40 unit and along this side uh, we can see the half dimension is 20 unit and this side is and this side is same distance so our total distance is also uh, this side is 10 unit so our total distance will be 20 plus 20 40 unit okay then we're going to extrude boss it we're going to extrude boss it up to 40 unit after that uh, we have some extrude cut okay here is our first extrude cut for drawing this extrude cut portion we will draw a center line along this line and this center line has a dimension of 10 unit then we are going to offset two lines here and this offset two lines has a total distance of 10 unit so half distance will be 5 in this side and 5 in other side then i will use the cap in tool for capping this then i will going to extrude cut it to through all then finally we have uh, another extrude cut in this portion okay for doing a uh, in this portion, uh, from this point, we will draw a re corner rectangle. And this corner rectangle has a uh, vertical distance of, uh, this vertical distance is 40 minus 20. So this distance is vertical distance is 20 unit. Then our this horizontal distance is 10 unit. And from this point, we will draw another rectangle. And this rectangle uh, has a horizontal distance of 20 unit and it has a vertical distance okay if we talked about vertical distance of this vertical distance it we can see it has a total distance of 40 unit 40 minus 20 minus 10 so 40 minus 30 will be this distance is 10 unit then from this point uh, to this point th this is our middle point as the total distance is 40 unit so this will be this will be our middle point because uh, we have crossed this half 10 distance and half 10, 10 distance. So, this is our middle point. And from this corner to this corner, we will draw a uh, connect this line. Then we will draw a vertical line here. Then we will connect this portion. After all of this portion, uh, we will combine. Then we will do an extrude cut up to, up to uh, 40 minus 20. So, up to 20 unit. We will extrude cut up to 20 unit. Okay. So, let us go back to our solid works. So first of all, I'm going to select the top plane from here. Now right click on it. Now sketch, then normal to it. Then I'm going to select the center rectangle from here and place this center rectangle to the origin. And this center rectangle uh, has a dimension of uh, 20 plus 20 unit, uh, 40 unit along this side. Uh, okay, along this side, the uh, dimension is 15 plus 10 plus 15 unit. Okay, and along uh, 15 plus 10 plus 10 unit and uh, sorry 15 plus 10 plus 15 unit and along this other line we have a dimension of 20 plus 20 unit so it is a 40 by 40 dimension try uh, square then from there i will go to features then is to post we will going to is to post it to up to 40 unit so we'll going to dimension to up to 40 unit now place okay so our issue was has been done now uh, select this right face right face now right click on it now sketch then normal to it now going to select the center line from here and place this center line to the origin and draw a center line of 10 unit okay and uh, we'll draw a center line of 10 unit dimension and now we're going to select the offset entities we will select this line as our total distance is 10 units so our half offset will be 10 and uh, divided by 2 so it will be 5 unit make sure to select the bidirectional and then cap it then select the lines okay now press okay now i submit to it for a better view we're going to use the extrude cut feature for that we're going to features now extrude cut will you can use the blind and give a manual value or you can select uh, through all for this one so i'm selecting through all now press okay so at this portion has been done now we're going to select this uh, upper face now right click on it now sketch then normal to it now we are going to select the corner rectangle from here and drawing a corner rectangle along this line. Okay, So this corner rectangle has a vertical distance of uh, we can see 40 minus 20 unit. So it will be 20 unit and a uh, horizontal distance of 10 unit. 
then we will going to draw another corner rectangle and this corner rectangle has a vertical dimension of 40 minus 20 minus 10 units and a horizontal distance of uh, we can see 20 unit now this time we will select the line tool from here and draw an incline line so this incline will be along this midpoint okay now if you hover your mouse uh, we can see we can uh, see the highlight of the midpoint so select this midpoint line now connect this upper point and close this shape so we have done our shape here and uh, now we'll go need to trim these extra lines for here so i'm we're going to select pre maintenance from here and trim the unnecessary lines that we don't need now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features and this time we're going to use the extrude cut tool uh, from the extrude cut tool uh, as our total distance is 40 unit but we will have to to get it to 20 units for, for that i'm selecting the blind function from here now 40 minus 20 units so it will be 20 unit now press ok so uh, this portion has been done so as you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different